at home with Lucas here. So today we're going to talk about bulletproof coffee and in particular, we're going to talk about the original. So I finally got my hands on some of their pods. Yes, people, they don't make K-cups. They make pods that go into any K-cup single serve coffee machine. So in this video, we're doing a hands-on with the box, quick unboxing and first impressions on said pods. After that, I'm gonna be putting these bad boys over to the K-mini and brewing up a nice hot cup of coffee. After that, I'm gonna be doing my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee. My goal is to sip all the coffees from around the world and I'm over 140 some odd coffees sipped and this is gonna be another one on the list. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So at the top you have the name of the company, Bulletproof. This is the original medium roast, sweet and smooth. This is a 10 pack, 0.39 ounces. So it's a little bit on the small side. Some of these go all the way up to 0.5 ounces, believe it or not. So hopefully they're packing a good punch for what we're getting. All right, that is very cool. It's gonna work with most Keurigs or single serve. The reason why I bought this was it was on sale. Woo woo! I was very excited when I saw that. I should have bought more, but I was like, no, I'll just get one because um, they had a bunch. And it's not that they're expired. I still have a whole month left on these bad boys. They're part of the Rainforest Alliance. That is what's up, people. 100% Arabica. All right, let's get inside this box and take a look at the, the pods. They're calling these K-Cup pods. I like that. Oh, that ripped really funny. Okay, so these are completely different. These are completely different than any pod I've ever seen. This part right here is what's different right there. It looks way more like a creamer. <laughs> like you're gonna rip it open and pour this into your coffee. It doesn't have the dimple at the bottom, so it's not quote unquote compatible with the Keurig 2.0, um, but because of the size, I think it's gonna work. We'll find that out, of course. So definitely compacted. You can see it's vacuum sealed really, really tight right there. All right, coming up, we're gonna throw this into the K-Mini and get a Bruin. Okay, here we go. We got my K-Mini right here. So let's take a look at the difference between a quote unquote uh, 2.0 Okay, so if you look at the bottom down here, you got a little dimple right there, and that's gonna mean that this is compatible with the 2.0. If you take a look at the bottom down here, no dimple whatsoever, but if you notice, this is completely recessed as if the whole thing is a dimple, whereas this one is only recessed right there in the center. So theoretically, this should work just fine. Okay, I use a reverse osmosis water filtration system. The whole thing is under the sink, but I just wanted to give a quick heads up. Okay, for my reviews, I never click the strong button. Um, the strong button definitely adds a little bit of benefit, but it also can get a little bit messy and a little bit weird, so I don't hit the strong button. For my reviews, I just keep it on normal. That way it brews out at a good speed and nice and consistent. All right, so there's actually an optimal sip temperature. So most people drink their coffee a little bit too hot and you actually want to sip between 130 and 140. So what I do is I let it cool down to about 140 and then I start my sip. 
and that way you're going to get all the flavor notes and you're not going to actually burn your tongue or harm your taste buds. All right, let's get into this sip, people. Ooh, so the smell is actually really, oh, that's very interesting. So it has this like sweet sort of burnt smell to it. It's very complex though, I have to admit. That smell is not on the regular at all. Wow, that is very interesting. It has this sweet, sort of smoky, sort of roasted smell to it. Very interesting. Okay, let's get into this, people. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Woo, something's going on there. Whoa, that was very complex, wow. Okay, so the initial hit was like watery. Then it got really thick, like oddly thick, because Keurigs, they are not um, usually thick cups of coffee. It's usually a thinner cup of coffee. Wow, okay, so it was thick. It had like this molasses sort of like feel to it. Um, definitely syrupy, definitely on the, um, I can't believe this is a Keurig. <laughs> cup of coffee I'm not kidding wow that was an intense sip right there yeah that is wow okay there is so much going on in this coffee I am very much blown away already I've only been in two sips wow okay yes so it's definitely got this thickness to it that's really really nice it's not like drinking syrup don't don't get that twisted okay wow that is very interesting the aftertaste the inhale is very very like syrupy um the, the odd thing is there's not like a real true uh coffee <laughs> flavor there like it's not being like presented immediately it's very luxurious though it's a very interesting cup of coffee Yeah, that is very interesting. So it doesn't have any sort of harsh anything. It's so smooth. It's so, um, like I said, luxurious. It just flows down perfectly and you're just like ready for that next sip. Absolutely amazing. If you're someone who is new to drinking black coffee, this is definitely the one to buy for sure. Like you could drink this day one and not feel like you're drinking motor oil. Like you're gonna be able to drink it and not be overwhelmed because black coffee can be very overwhelming when you first start. It usually takes a couple weeks to get used to drinking black coffee, but once you get past that initial uh, harshness, you start to really notice all the flavor notes and all the fun stuff that's going on in there. I would not say that this would be a good cream and sugar and syrup and, and cake and ice cream and all that crazy stuff you put in coffee nowadays. I would say this one, maybe skip it and go with something else that's a little darker, a little more harsh, but this one is definitely luxurious. It's definitely a cup of coffee that stands out for sure. Like, <laughs> I feel like I went through a boring patch of coffee through the past few weeks, and this is my, uh, this is my savior right here. Yeah, it's really, really interesting. I think I put the perfect amount of water to coffee ratio, just about six fluid ounces to whatever uh, 0 0.38 uh, ounces that's in the, the pod. I guess we're calling it a pod. Um, so you definitely wanna put less water. If you can go under six fluid ounces, if you can drop it down to four, which means if you're using a K-mini like I have, you will have to stop it uh, before it finished brewing or you'll have to pull the cup out. So you literally will have to pull this out and let the last ounce or two drip down into the drip tray down below, which I do sometimes if I feel like the coffee is gonna be weak. I watch that stream. So if you watch the stream, you can actually see when it's going from rich <laughs> to watery and that's when you can pull it and then you can slap another K cup in and get a double shot, people. Yeah, this coffee is going by way too fast. I'm like, oh no, I wish I had twice as much. It is so delectable, it's so delicious. It's definitely something that stands out. Now, if you're looking for that bitter, hard-hitting, coffee, coffee, coffee taste, this is gonna be one you're gonna wanna skip. This is the smooth, easy-going, Sunday morning, 
Maybe you just finished having a nice breakfast, you're moving on with your day, and you just want a cup of coffee that's gonna be fun and enjoyable and relaxing, this is definitely the one for you. Um, yeah, it's so good, wow. It is definitely in the premium realm. And I'm definitely someone that's not a huge fan of medium roast. I'm, I'm starting to, I'm starting to hear all the chatter about light roast having more caffeine and dark roast having less caffeine. And I'm actually starting to believe that a little bit. I need to get more light roast to have really good flavor so I can actually put it to the test. I may do that on this channel. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe for that to come up in the future. Wow, I may actually finish a full cup of coffee on this review. I rarely do that. Usually I get about halfway and I'm done, but this one is so good that I just cannot stop. All right, let's give it that star rating. I'm gonna give it a solid five stars, people. At Home with Lucas, stamp of approval, five star rating, yes sir. And you know it's a true five star because this is a medium roast and I'm not usually throwing out five stars for medium roast, but this one is bulletproof. I say it, I feel like I should have been wearing a bulletproof vest for this review or maybe gotten a shirt that looks like a bulletproof vest but nonetheless I just have my uh, my Florida shirt on dreaming of the beach haven't been there in over two years now nope I think it's been yeah this this summer will be summer number two since I've been to the beach I missed it last summer and oh yeah But there you go, at home with Lucas, stamp of approval, five star cup of coffee, five out of five stars, that is. And uh, yeah, buy it. Okay, here we go. We got my K iced right here. This is my brand new machine. Bought it for my wife for Mother's Day. She's obsessed with iced coffee, people. So this thing actually has an iced coffee button. I did a full review on this bad boy. I'm gonna link it down below. But nonetheless, we're gonna be putting this to the iced coffee test. Is it going to taste good when it's brewed for iced coffee? So the way this thing works is it brews hot coffee to a certain point, then it switches over and runs cold water through this bad boy so that your ice does not melt all the way. All right, let's get into this, peeps. Ooh, so satisfying. The only problem with this bad boy is it only does eight fluid ounces at the minimum. So we're gonna go ahead and choose our ice up here. We're gonna click our eight fluid ounces and get a brewing. Oh yeah, that is a nice looking stream up top. Looking good down below. Yeah, I have to admit the smell that's coming off of here is very authentically iced coffee. All right, let's get into this bonus sip, people. Iced coffee style. It is almost summer here in the States. Um, yesterday was over 80 degrees for the first time, so definitely a warmer climate right now, and iced coffee and all that stuff is gonna become a thing. I'm not a super fan of it, but for this review, let's give it the bonus sip, people. Okay, all right, <laughs> all right. It's got some, it's got some meat on the bones, if you will, people. It definitely has that sort of authentic iced coffee taste. Yeah, it's 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 got a little bit of a bitteriness to it, which is interesting because it is so sweet that um, it has that like iced coffee like sort of kick to it, which is very interesting. Um, but it definitely has a sweetness to it that is very, very familiar if you've ever done sweet tea or anything like that. It's not 
quite that sweet. So if you think of more of a iced tea that had a tiny bit of sugar put into it, maybe even some honey or something, um, yeah, that is very refreshing. Yeah, I mean, it really does have a different taste to it. That is very interesting. So I'm gonna say it definitely passed the iced coffee taste. I'm not gonna give it a star rating, I already did that. Um, this is just for fun, just so you guys get more content. Uh, but there you go, if you wanna use this for iced coffee, it's gonna work. It's gonna give you that authentic iced coffee taste and you're gonna enjoy it. Definitely refreshing, a um, little bit different flavor, but uh, I like it, it passed. All right, there you go. That's the Bulletproof Coffee. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely clicky clack that like button. And if you wanna join the Adam Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 6K. Yes, people, on my way to 7K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.